Hello and welcome to Friday. Um, the sunlight might hit the lens just like that, so we're <laughs> a bit of an awkward spot right now. It is currently that time, 8.37, well, 8 o'clock, 37 seconds. Um, I wanted to record me clicking on uh, the clock in button on uh, my work computer at uh, 8 o'clock, but um, turns out the uh, camera was set to photo mode instead of um, video, so <laughs> have some pictures of like 7.59 and um, some seconds. Um, yesterday's vlog just finished rendering, that was that uh, Windows alert, and yeah, I wanted to record that moment. Uh, in nine hours I will be done with this job for the second time. Um, I finished working here back in January of 2019, and um, that was a hard cutoff because uh, I started school the next week and needed to um, be a student full-time for my senior semester, for my last semester as a senior and um yeah it's only a couple of hours to go until i am done with this after that um i was just talking to some friends and they're saying you don't really have a reason to get up <laughs> on monday and they're kind of right um tomorrow saturday i have to uh, be at the eye doctor. Sunday's laundry day. Monday, Monday we don't really need to do much. And I'm okay with that, I guess. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens Monday. I know I told myself going to be working out, um, starting Sunday or Monday. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, Sunday might be... A bit early so I might do Monday so I'll shoot for Monday um, Sunday we'll just do keep up with the ring fit I think we're gonna try to beat ring fit for uh, the first few days and then after that um, we'll just see where life takes us probably to the basement where there is a bunch of workout equipment that I can uh, start using and that'll be some That'll be fun to uh, get into. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in a couple of hours where either we'll be doing something else or we'll be in the same spot and this will be a little less than nine hours later. So here we are at the end of the day. What turned out to be pretty hectic because um, one of our clients had a server issue that turned out to be pretty catastrophic. Lucky for me, I did not have to deal with it, but... <laughs> Uh, what a way to end the day. Uh, the rug actually arrived today. It's on the ground right there. And, um, I'm just waiting for the last few seconds to roll over so that I can clock out and be done with this job. Um, we are going to be celebrating with some more millionaire shortbread. The shortbread is already baked. Uh, I'm gonna go work on the caramel next, but let's watch this roll over. and time. I am officially done with work for the foreseeable future. It's a good feeling. That being said, let's uh, let's get cooking. Okay, so shortbread's all good. This is the caramel that's... I, mm, it's a bit speckled. I'm not so sure if it's supposed to be like that or not. I need to check, but temperature-wise, it's good. Um, and it should be much better than my last attempt, hopefully. We'll see how that goes. Um, we have that chocolate that's looking pretty melted, but, um, this needs to, uh, cool down. Once it's cool, um, we'll hit it with some, yeah, once it's cooled down, we'll melt the chocolate. We'll put the chocolate, uh, in the, so this is here for a double boiler. Melt the chocolate, pour the chocolate over 
this once it's cooled and hopefully we'll have some better uh, millionaire shortbread. For now, I'm going to um, go take a shower and we'll meet back uh, whenever that is. Okay, so uh, the chocolate is, you know, it's chocolate. Um, I didn't heat, so last time I ran into the issue where um, I overheated the chocolate and um, because I overheated the chocolate, I ended up, uh, what is it? Uh, it didn't set properly and it needed to refrigerate for longer, but this needs to go in the fridge. Um, and because of that, um, it didn't turn out too good. So this time I heated up, uh, where it needed to be, but the chocolate that I used was from straight out of the freezer. So those pieces didn't melt properly. So it's a bit chunky, but seeing how it should uh, firm up pretty well, I don't see it being too much of an issue. We'll see in a couple of minutes whenever this uh, finishes us hardening. Okay, it's like uh, 7.45 right now. Um, and the Millionaire Shortbread actually came out beautifully. Like, check out that cross section. That's looking great. Um, and yeah, it, the, like, last time the caramel was a bit too hard and the chocolate was a bit too... Uh, this time the caramel is perfect, the chocolate's great, and the shortbread is not as wet as it was before because I actually cooked it properly this time, so it's, uh... Ten out of ten. I need to learn how to make better shortbread, but... The recipe I went with, it's not bad. I'm going to enjoy this, and we'll be back a bit later. Okay, uh, it's a little bit later, and um, yeah, Millionaire Shortbread came out really, really good. I'm super, super happy with that. Uh, I'm glad I redeemed my cooking from last time, and uh, <laughs> look forward to uh, making it in the future. It's not too terribly hard, it's just um, I didn't know how to make the shortbread properly, and... Um, after learning how to um, not only temper chocolate and um, make caramel, it becomes much easier the second time. Um, yeah, also, let's uh, talk about um, how today was my last day on the job. It was um, interesting. I think I mentioned earlier saying that uh, one of our clients had a server that uh, <laughs> just wasn't working properly, and um, that was the main focus of the day. Lucky for me, um, it wasn't a client that I normally deal with, and it was, uh, an outside company that was in control of the server. So, not my problem. Um, rest of the day was pretty chill, and I'm glad I left. It's a weight off my shoulders right now. Um, I'm gonna take a few weeks, if not a month or two, to, um, fully relax and do whatever I want for a little bit. This is the first real break I've had since January 2020. I know I took a week off in April, and that's, um, that was a bit of a break, but this is a real break. I can not worry about anything and have time to myself to do whatever the hell I want. And that's probably going to be exercising for the near future. Uh, we got that carpet, um rug area rug today it's a bit bigger than the one i currently have i believe this is a eight by six and this one is a nine by six so it's an extra foot of length which is fine should fit just fine um yeah that's probably gonna get rolled out tomorrow i do have an eye doctor at 10 30 in the morning tomorrow uh eye doctor appointment so go there um might stop somewhere for lunch highly doubt it eh I might. I think I will, actually. Um, after that, I will probably just um, spend the rest of the day cleaning and, I don't know, enjoy my first real day um, off. Uh, what is supposed to be nice. I really want to, one of these days, just, just take this camera and 
walk somewhere and just take photos of everything. And now I can do that. Um, yeah, um, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be an interesting uh, couple of days. Uh, what else happened today? I don't think... <laughs> I think that just might be it. The big whole work thing. Uh, new carpet and... Yeah, it's... Oh, um, the clothes. That's it. Um, you can see the clothes aren't really here anymore. And if we go over to my closet, which is here. See this big mess of hangers. Um, the jeans and shirts are all being either given away to my brother and or my uh, neighbor and or old neighbor who lives now in Florida. And um, yeah, it's nice to have those out of the house. Um, as soon as those left the house, minutes later I bought, um, I think it was, let me pull it out, it's, uh, ah, there we go, oh boy. Well, it's both of these, so. So these shirts are from Express, as you may or may not know, I like Express jeans a lot. And these shirts are no exception, they're v-necks, they're, I love the feel of them. So I bought uh, six more of them. <laughs> Different colors, and um, yeah, I wanted to just refill out the closet and um, get some colors that I do not have. So it's going to be fun to um, have new clothes. I need to get some more brighter colors and just like something like orange and like a really, really bright green. Um, but yeah, those are two colors that I want. And uh, it's nice having a clear closet. My mom said, uh, <laughs> legitimately said, what if, uh, I think I might have mentioned this yesterday. She said, uh, okay, you're getting rid of these clothes. What if you get fat again? And I'm like, it's not in the plan. Not in the plan. I believe I said this yesterday. It's not in the plan. Um, yeah, it's... <laughs> Speaking of, I worked out for like a good three hours today too. It, it helped that it was a slow day other than the uh, stuff going on at work, but um, yeah, that's... Glad I'm pushing myself, hopefully it's uh, not pushing myself too much and hopefully I won't feel too terrible in the morning, but after uh, working myself out like this and seeing that, like I'm actually feeling uh, that I'm doing really well. Workouts that, uh, didn't affect me too much. Like, um, there's one where you just bend down and move your arms to the side. And I wasn't feeling anything up until, like, today or yesterday. And I'm like, okay, I'm doing this right. I'm doing this right. This feels good. And now I'm like, okay, I'm all about this. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to continue that tomorrow. So, goal for tomorrow would be um, eye doctor, get some food, uh, roll out this carpet, ring fit for however long I can, and that's it. That's really the plan. I hope to, uh, enjoy myself with that, and, um, you know, it's... I'm I'm really really looking forward to having this time off and uh, being able to do just whatever I want to do. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm I'm happy with my decision. <sighs> okay, I think I've rambled on. <laughs> I'll rambled on for long enough. So that's what I'm gonna call it for today. Whew, a lot happened today, but I'm hoping for a lot to happen in the future. Thank you all for watching, I hope to see you tomorrow, and until then, later.